Hi there again, Booktube Lola here and welcome to another video. Um, today I want to review Death Note. I don't know how to pronounce the author's name so you can read that yourself. I'm really bad, I don't want to spoil the author's name and be really silly about it but I absolutely love Death Note so far and I've read the second Black Edition volume now and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, when I first started reading the first volume I was reading it wrong <laughs> But now that I know how to read them, it's quite easy. Um, Death Note Volume 2 is absolutely wonderful. I really love the artwork in these, especially at the beginning, where it shows you the coloured art and how they can actually do all this really cool stuff. And you get like, contacts and everything. But obviously I have to read it backwards. And yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful. It's all in black and white throughout the book. And it's got absolutely wonderful artwork in it. But yeah, I love this because um, because you get through it really, really fast, even though it's quite a thick volume, um, and it's a lot of you have to do a lot of thinking with this. So I really love how you can just keep going with this and having to guess what's going to happen next and all that kind of thing. Um, but with this, the Shinigami is following Light around, and he's having to kill people without the government or whatever it is, the police finding out that it's him that's killing people with the death note. The police know that obviously lied, not lied, they know he's a suspect in this volume and they're watching him through cameras and all that kind of thing in his room and he's having to like do his studies and pretend to be writing down things and then he slips out a piece of paper from his death note and starts writing people's names on it. So. Yeah, he has to try and prove himself innocent, which in Light's case, <laughs> um, because he's made friends with the guy who suspects him, he's only making himself more of a suspect all the time and that kind of thing. Um, and then there's also a girl in this who you find out has a death note too, and she has a Shinigami following her around. And obviously Light is Kira, who is the guy who's killing all these people, all these criminals um, and he's like killing all these criminals and trying to rid the world of evil um, in his own warped twisted way in a sense um, no matter what the criminal's done he wants to kill them and all this kind of thing but obviously the girl with the Shinigami is also um, wanting to meet Kira so she sends Kira a message as Kira so that Kira knows there's a fake Kira, which is all really confusing unless you're actually reading the volume. But she's a very, very obsessive girl who really wants to meet Kira. Um, she sees him as an idol and wants to join his forces. But obviously Light is a bit, you're weird girl, go away and leave me alone. But at the same time he doesn't want to die because she's got a death note. So he goes ahead and uses her for his own purposes. But spoiler alert, Towards the end, Light actually ends up getting rid of said girl. I can't remember her name. Um, I'm really bad at names of these because it's from a different country, so I'm a bit weird with remembering the names. Light is really simple, so I can remember his name. It's a good job I can even remember what a Shinigami is. Is a god of death. <laughs> but um, yeah, she, it still tells you all the stuff like how to use a death note, blah blah blah. But yeah, she um, ends up having her memory wiped in a Shinogami and death note taken away from her because she's kind of a danger to Kira's cause and she's in danger, somebody's captured her so they can find out who Kira is. And this is the girl with her sh weird Shinogami and I find him really cool, he looks really different to to Light Shinigami. I'll show, I'll show you a picture of Light Shinigami from the final one. That's him there. I find it really, really cool. I don't think it's going to focus anytime soon. Wait a minute. Whee, it just doesn't want to focus on Light Shinigami. Okay, um, but yes, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, she gets kidnapped so that they can find out who she is, but then Light has her memory wiped and all this kind of thing by her Shinigami. Death Note taken away and all that kind of thing, so she leaves and then the police are wondering why she has no memory of anything. She still is in love with Light, so they can't take that away from her. But at the same time she doesn't know why 
there's all these reasons like that she's probably still gonna come back and do something in the next volume but I want to see what's gonna happen there but yes light slash Kira is going around killing all these criminals and trying to hide it from the police and it's absolutely fantastic and I really really would recommend this to absolutely anybody who's got the patience to read it backwards and from right to left of the page so it's absolutely fantastic and I would recommend it to people who like anime and manga go for it because it's absolutely fabulous um, and I don't normally like manga or anything like this so I'm gonna really recommend it to you go ahead and read it it's, it's such a good story so Thank you very much for watching my video, I hope you subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up and comment below your opinions and views on Death Note series. Um, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in my next video, bye bye!